Hi, I'm Scorpion's Fatality, and I wanted to show my face and then show me suiting up, I guess. I don't know. Um, also, I just want to say that these paws were made by Wild vs. Kings. Um, they came with my fox partial, mini partial. Mini partial meaning that it just didn't come with feet or a bodysuit. So, anyway, I'm Scorpion. This might sound clickbaity, but minors don't need a fursuit, nor should their parents give them a fursuit. Now, why am I being a salty bitch? Well, before I get attacked by people, because trust me, I, I know this will probably have people flocking. The thing is, if you want a fursuit, get a tail. Or make a tail. The thing is, they're not cheap. Fake fur isn't cheap. Now before I suit up, I will not be saying what I paid for my fox partial, or bleh, fox mini partial. Um, the reason why is because that's for me and my maker. Nobody else needs to know. And honestly, I just don't feel like saying it. Um, so, let me give you a quick rundown of material costs, and then I'm going to start rambling probably. Alright, so, this shit, I'm too lazy to turn them around. This is upholstery foam. Now, this can range from country to country. Um, at Walmart, I'm in America, I don't know anything about other countries, so don't ask me if you're out of America, because I don't know. Um, Walmart sells this shit. They've started selling half inch, as well as just one inch. Um, it's about 15 to 25 dollars a roll. So, now, now we get to the fun part. You're gonna need, oh, I guess it, they're all at the bottom. This is a little container that I use to hold my pins and some of my small, uh, threads. Pins with bulbs, because you want the bulbs colored, because you're gonna break them and you're gonna lose them. A lot. Needle and thread. Tiny needle and thread. The re the only colors you really need are black and um, white. You don't need any other colors. Also, I'm going to jump cut for one second because I need to do something. But I'll be back in a second. Alright, now, let's start with the with the fun shit. You want a slicker brush, and a good thing to do is put a piece of, like, tape, or hi, my name is blah blah blah, and then put a piece of clear tape over it so that doesn't peel off. Um, but this is old duct tape that I did back in 2016. It just has my name on it, just in case I lose this at a convention. Also, a little carabiner works wonders, these little clippy-doos. Um, this is actually a gray but it's dark enough where it looks like a black. This was at a thrift store. Thrift stores have great things, especially for sewing. So if you want to do anything, go to thrift stores and buy the big spools anyway, because they're cheap. And then for good needles, good quality needles, um, you're going to be spending a lot of money trying to find the right ones because stores will put them in tiny packages. Stores will not put them in open packages where you can actually feel the tips, where you can feel how thick the needles are. Because my my thing is, Walmart has actually sold me a pack of shitty needles. Like, they look, they look like they're the right kind. And then it turns out um, they're too thick to hold. Because whenever you try to sew... Let me actually grab those again. My favorite to use is very long, slender needles because it goes through the fabric easily. And just, yeah. Alright, so, next thing you're gonna need. Some fabric scissors. You're gonna need the fabric scissors. I don't know where mine is, but you're also gonna need a uh, X-Acto knife. You don't want to use a box cutter. Also, yes, my scissors are broken. Don't judge me. Um, it was from pulling a needle out, or a pin out of hot glue from my phone. From, blah, 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 from my fursuit. Alright, now, the expensive, expensive part. I brought, uh, I bought this from Fursuit Supplies at Anthrocon uh, this year. I keep wanting to say last year. Like, no scorpion. It's this year. It's this year still. And this, I bought, I bought the green, I bought the purple, 
and I bought the orange. And they're all soft colors, and I love them to death, and I need to buy more. Ugh, they're amazing. Um, I spent about $23 a yard. And that didn't include, like, shipping costs or anything. It was just $23 a yard. 23 or so. Now, a yard isn't that big. A yard could maybe fur a head, but you're not going to get a neck out of it. And you better make sure you use every piece of it. And just, uh, also, also upholstery foam. Now, hot glue gun. Now, if you use a high temp hot glue gun, you're going to get fucking burns that are the equivalent to putting your hand in an oven. I would know. I'd show my blisters, but trust me, nobody wants to see that, even though they're healed, but, uh, yeah. Basically, this thing is the equivalent of just shoving your hand right in and touching the side of the oven while it's on. It get up, up real hot. Now, since I've gotten all the materials out of the way, what are all the costs going to be, roughly? Now, if you want to do, like, go to Joanne Fabrics or whatever and get the most dirt cheap materials possible. I made my first fursuit head for under, like, I think I made it for, like, $30. Just, you can make a fursuit for under $100, but the thing is, you're gonna be limited what you can make. You're gonna grow out of what you can make, and the thing is, people might think, that I won't grow out of it, it'll last forever! With paws, with um, a head, with a bodysuit, especially with a bodysuit. Feet, if you really genuinely want a fursuit that bad and you're a minor, I highly recommend just getting a tail and maybe making paws, making a headband that has ears on it. I do not recommend buying a fursuit or making a fursuit head, um, bodysuit, or feet. Because the thing is, you will grow out of it. I'm sorry to burst your bubbles to all the people who deny it. Because I saw um, a brat today on Facebook who was like, I will never grow. Like, yeah, you will. <laughs> you will grow. And the thing is, you might think, oh, if I just make it big enough, then it'll last. Well, the thing is about making a fursuit big. Um, the bigger you go, the harder it is to wear. Now look at my pretty girl, Bella, who's actually based on a stuffed animal. I bought at Cabela's um, last year. And... One day I will f I will get that. It needs washed and it's not at this house. Um, but, <laughs> oh boy. So, she is from last year. She was one of my first dog suits that I made. So she's very, very rough. No pun intended. She's very, like, really shoddy made. Like, it's it was my first attempt and there's a lot of mistakes. Um... But the thing is, even if you make a head that's, like, huge on you, how is that going to be comfortable? Like, I understand, oh, you can just pad the shit out of it. The thing is, if you pad the shit out of a fursuit head, you're going to have a tough time with it. And I, personally, I pad the shit out of mine. Well, I used to. With her, it shows. Now, I'm going to put her on, even though she's really, really hard to get on. Oh, yes, and you're going to need spandex. Lots of spandex. You're going to need... I'm not saying what you use for eye material. People can just look it up on Google. Um, foamies, I guess, can work. And then you need your mesh, which I use Vinyl Ada. That's from Joann's. You're going to need acrylics. You're going to need to know how to paint. You're going to need... You don't have to know fancy paint, but the thing is, there's a lot of knowledge that you need. A lot of research, a lot of tutorials are out there, but the thing is, you're going to grow out of this in like a year. Now, I'm over 18, so I'm fine. 
I started making fursuits back in 2016. I was over 18. So, it's not like I'm... It's the end of the world for me. Because the thing is... You basically... Once you grow out of it, all it goes down the drain. You can keep it to put on a shelf or something. But it, all the work you did goes down the drain. And another thing is... People aren't going to properly clean these things. I know miners. They, they, they just want to wear it. That's how I felt originally. Whenever I wanted my first fursuit, it was back when I was a miner. And I was like, fuck, man. The, th the best thing to do, though, is to get a tail or make a tail. If you go to, like, a convention or something, you're going to see fursuits aren't cheap. It's not just the material costs that we charge. We charge for our work. These things do not take five seconds to make. Well, lemon brats might, but still. This is about like, I don't know, several days of work. And this isn't even close to being done. You might think that, oh, but Scorpion, it looks pretty much done. Look, you got both ears. No, I haven't. I've gotten part of both ears. This one's barely done. And this one, this one needs a lot of work. Like, people think that you can pump out fursuits. People think that fursuits take no time, no effort, no nothing. Oh, yes, and you'll need fleece and maybe some felt. But I recommend fleece. But the thing is, fursuits aren't easy to make. And I have been making fursuits for two years, and even then, I can tell you. Fursuits are trial and error, and you're going to spend a shit ton of money until you're good. Until you're even decent. And people will lie to you and they'll sugarcoat it and they'll say, Oh, making a fursuit is so easy! And all you gotta do is follow these tutorials. No, you're gonna fuck up. You're gonna fuck up so bad for your first few heads. I mean, the thing is, you can do bases, but... I can afford them. Bases are expensive. And unless you're going to, like, I don't know, someone who does foam casting... It's a gamble sometimes. Um, and the thing is, you gotta pay the actual base price of the base, and you gotta pay shipping and handling, which is also not cheap. So, yeah, be, be prepared for that. And the thing is, the thing that people think, oh, well, I'll never grow out of it, and I can take care of it, and I can just modify it. Well, the thing is, that's fine. But, especially with a bodysuit, I don't know if anyone saw, but I made a video of um, me actually modifying it. I kept doing, like, bodysuit tests. Yeah, it's up to there. And the thing is, also that white one, I washed it, a few, like, a week or two ago, and I still haven't, br I just haven't brushed it. I haven't really had time. But, um... <laughs> It's, it's not a mess on purpose, I promise. But the thing is, people act like, Oh, well, I can just keep modifying and modifying and modifying. That gets expensive. And you don't want to have to make a new one every single year. Like, if you're 10, you don't want to have to keep making them. But if you make a tail and paws and a headband with ears, then you're good. Hell, make clay ears out of, like, foam. Or, not foam. Mono magic. Make, just make something that's just not gonna be grown out of. Because if you have just, I don't know, maybe even get one of those spirit Halloween masks and just wear that. Maybe put some shit on it. The thing is, that's what I did for my, in 2015. I got so much shit for it. And honestly, I feel like it was unnecessary, though... I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm like, I hate these things. Because I did strip the fur off of one, and they're very dangerous. But the thing is, if you want to use that temporarily, I say go for it. I really say go for it. If you want to use that, also I don't recommend mask moles, and I don't recommend getting masks in stores. Because the thing is, they are a breeding ground for lice. Yeah. That's why I don't ever recommend maskimals because I am terrified of everybody getting lice. 
Because trust me, you might think that, oh, it's safe. That goes with anything you put on your, uh, I was going to say your face, but your face or your head. Any region right there. There's probably going to be lice in there. Because a lot of people are putting them on, trying them on. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> it's not good. And the thing is, um, they're very cheaply made, and it's not really worth it. But, if you wash it properly, a lot, and you really, really scrub the shit out of it, I truly mean that, you might even want to throw it in the washing machine, just get all the bugs out. I really do strongly mean that, though. But, be cautious, because those things, you can't breathe. From all of them that I've seen, you can't breathe out of them. Because there's no mouth hole. It's just like... It's just like one solid piece, and it's like, stop! Um, you might need to cut a mouth hole for yourself, so you can breathe! Um... <laughs> But the thing is, this video is not meant to harass people. This is meant to be, like, a public service announcement that you will grow out of shit. You know how you grow out of shirts? How you grow out of your favorite clothing in the world? Yeah, that'll happen with this. Do you really want to put a big investment whenever you're, like, only a child or a minor or whatever you want to call yourself? Once you're 18, you're done growing. And if you look at people, if you look at fursuit makers, even my own terms of service, then you'll actually see um, it's 18, it's 18 plus. We're not being like, oh yeah, we're just, we're just in it because 18 plus we can make uh, sex suits. No, that's not it at all. It's because that's when your body stops growing and it is a big investment. And just know that you can be a furry without a fursuit. I know that having a fursuit might be amazing, but the thing is, another thing is, you might grow out of that character. Imagine finishing a fursuit, and then, like, not just growing out of it, but you don't want that character anymore. But at the same time, you do. You don't want to get rid of it. So it just kind of sits. And another thing is... Once you grow out of it, what do you do with it? What what do you do? I mean, it's going to be gross used fur. I mean, I've used I've reused tails, but it's after a fucking ton of washing. So, please be please be cautious. And if miners want to do whatever, do whatever. I'm not saying that there's one thing, but know that you'll grow out of it. I'm not saying you'll grow out of it like it's a phase. I'm saying you will physically grow out of the measurements from before. Even your heads. I'm sorry. So the best way, if you truly want a costume, a fursuit, whatever, is to just get a tail paws and a headband. I know a lot of makers, I know a lot of companies even, who make them, or you can make your own. So, yeah. I've actually made a pair of, um, what's it called? I made a head, I've made headbands made out of clay, with clay, uh, ears on them ever since, like, high school. And I actually sold a pair and just, it was crazy. Um, but just please be aware that, um, you don't stay the same size forever. And you can't argue with people because you think that, oh, I'm right, I'm always right, I'm right, I'm right. And another thing is that I really don't want to say, but it could be a phase. Yeah. So, fursuits are an investment. They're not a toy, they're not some cheap thing, it's an investment. And I have actually grown out of some of my characters, 
but I and some of my old fursuit work I can barely wear anymore because of how poorly I made it. It's all trial and error and it's a big investment. You have to clean it, you have to brush it, you have to wash it, you have to make sure it's disinfected after every wear. You have to make sure you put it on a box fan so it dries out fully. You have to make sure everything is perfect. You have to make sure there's no rips. You have to make sure if you put something in the washer that it's on cold. You got to make sure you use mild detergent. You got to make sure it's on gentle. You got to make sure that you air dry it afterwards. It's a lot of work. And people don't want to believe it. People want to just have a fursuit. But please know that it's a big fucking investment. And it's not just sunshine and daisies. So yeah. And honestly, you can't just buy a fursuit spray and scritch it, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, that on my bottle it even says, hey, this is not a cleaning product. This is just to make it stink. Like the smells. And I have strawberry and watermelon, and even then, it's not a cleaner. It's just to make it smell nice for a short amount of time. So, take this how you will. Take it with a grain of salt and just understand that you will grow out of fursuits. So yeah, anyway, that was my ramble. And honestly, even she's old and she's hard to wear. So yeah, she's, 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 she's just there. And no, I will not be selling any of my fursuits. Um, these characters are my characters and I love them to death. So yeah, um, let's start you over there. If you truly want a high quality fursuit, wait until you're 18, save up your money, and just wait. Or make your own whenever you're 18, even when you're 17. Because then, there you go. Just make sure you're very careful. And budget. All right. Bye.